What's up guys, Daryl from Smart Shooters. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about the biggest mistake new gun owners are making. And before I jump into this video, I just want to warn you, all right? If you're not receptive to real feedback, um, feedback that's only intended to make you better, um, as the person watching this content, then you probably should click another video. But if you're really open to real feedback, and maybe it's not even you, maybe you need to send this content to somebody else. But today I wanna talk about the biggest mistake new gun owners and even some older gun owners are more seasoned gun owners are making, all right? If I provide value in this video, like it for me, take a chance on me and subscribe right now. Why are we talking right now? I promise that you won't be disappointed. If you're on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, make sure you subscribe to our podcast. And let's get into this thing. Let's not prolong it. So the biggest mistake that I see new gun owners making is spending more time and money on new guns than training. So many people are foregoing training and buying every new gun that's coming out. I get it. I'm a collector too. I like to have stuff in my collection. I like to have uh, the newest stuff. And I can't lie, gun marketing works. So I get why people rush out to go buy. Um, for example, Smith & Wesson just dropped the Shield Plus. Then they dropped the 10 millimeter. Then they dropped the CSX. Then now they're dropping the Shield Plus and 30 Super Carry. 30 Super Carry is a whole nother beast and people are rushing out to buy it. Stop, slow down. If you have everything that I just named, if you own it, then you are exactly who I'm talking to unless you're going out training at least twice a week, right? Let's talk about training and what it should look like. I got I, I, I got some good feedback for y'all, all right? Let's, let's talk about it. So I know I'm about to get so much hate for this, right? Because uh, it's the lifestyle. People love new guns. That's why people watch new gun reviews. Um, that's why people go to SHOT Show. We're coming off of SHOT Show week and people are excited. They love the new stuff that's coming out. There's lots of dope stuff that people want to get their hands on and see how it shoots. But I feel like people are so anxious to get their hands on stuff they're completely ignoring training. Um, and all those guns do you no good if you can't shoot them, right? So what should training look like? I'm glad you asked. Let's talk about it. Now, when we talk about training, training is not gonna look the same for everybody. And what I'm about to give you is the smart shooter standard. This is the 2022 smart shooter standard. This is what if you consider yourself a smart shooter or part of this community, this is what I am asking my students and my community to commit to. I'm asking you to commit to dry fire practice at least twice a day, right? Um, it can be as simple as drawing from your holster. I practice drawing from my holster. I do 30 reps in the morning. I do 50 reps in the evening just practicing drawing from my holster. And to keep it interesting, I switch it up by the day. I switch up the different carry positions because depending on where I'm going, I may have to carry in a different position. So I do what I gotta do um, when it comes to dry fire. I even practice drawing from my holster with different firearms I may carry in different circumstances. For example, my Smith & Wesson 10 millimeter or my Glock 20, when I'm out on my gun range in bear country, um, for whatever bear country Michigan has, we just got black bears that are really scared of people. When I have that firearm, I carry outside the waistband and a retention holster. I have to practice hitting that button in order to release my firearm and going up on target. You can't just think that you're gonna do this stuff spur of the moment. So I'm asking you to commit to dry fire at least twice a day few reps, even if you just give me 10 reps drawn from your holster in the morning, 10 reps drawn from your holster in the evening, 
That's the first aspect of training I'm asking you to commit to. Then I'm asking you to go to a live fire gun range at least once a week. All right, we want to actually make the pew pews go pew. It doesn't do you any good to just practice all of this stuff and never actually fire your gun. Even dry fire, although it's great for muscle memory, it does not equate to the real thing. Practice drawing from your holster going up on target. If you're on an indoor range, indoor ranges around West Michigan don't allow you to draw from a holster. You still, like I talked about in a previous video, Go with intentionality, have a plan. You can work on trigger press. You can work on sight alignment. You could uh, practice using red dots. Red dots are a big thing right now because instead of focusing on that front sight like we normally do, now your focus point is the target and you're laying that red dot on top of the target. That's a whole lot to get used to. That is the hardest part of my training right now as an instructor is getting used to red dots after I was raised on iron sights, as some of my OGs would say. Go to the range at least once a week and put that work in. Third aspect of training is to study at least once a week. By studying, it could be reading up, um, it could be watching YouTube videos. A lot of us watch YouTube videos anyway. Watch some instruction going on. Watch some somebody who's posting new drills. Um, don't just watch gun reviews. Don't just watch other people get busy, but really study like what are they working on? What's their technique? I was actually watching the USCCA just put out a video today about slightly changing the way we grip pistols in order to make our follow-up shots more accurate. Watch that kind of stuff. Get out there and see. There's tons of people putting out dope content for free. Get on YouTube. You on YouTube watching me now. Get on there and watch some training. So if you're one of those people who like, hey, big bro, I'm good on training. Like, I train all the time. I train regularly. I drive fire. I go to the range all the time. I go to the range with intentionality. I even keep a training log of all my training. So why can't I buy guns? I got three questions that I need you to ask yourself before you buy a new gun. One, how often do I go to the range? Do you go to the range and could you go more instead of buying another firearm? A lot of people say they don't go to the range a lot because it's expensive. Ammo is expensive and it's hard to afford it, but somehow you're buying another five, six, seven, eight hundred dollar gun, right? Could that money be better spent being more proficient in the weapon you have? So if you go to the range once a week, now if you take that money and break it up, could you go twice? Could you go three times a week? And just imagine how much more proficient of a shooter you're going to be when you go to the range more. Here's one that's going to get you, all right? So after we figure out how often do we go to the range, could we take this money and go more? The next thing you need to ask yourself is, have I at least put a thousand rounds in the last gun that I bought? Smart shooter standard, again, I know some people are gonna disagree, but that's kind of my personal rule of thumb when it comes to purchasing a firearm. Do not purchase another firearm, Daryl. I'm gonna talk to myself right now. Do not purchase another firearm if you do not have at least a thousand rounds through your other firearm. Now, does a thousand rounds make you super proficient with a firearm? Mm, depending on who you are and your level of skill, maybe. I can tell you, I don't feel extremely proficient um, after a thousand rounds, but I do feel like I know my way around the firearm. I do feel like I can get to the point where I defend myself better. Um, and if I need to use that specific firearm versus my EDC, I'll be okay. So you need to ask yourself, really, really ask yourself, did I put, and if your number's not a thousand, okay, maybe your number is 2000, maybe your number's 500. Did I put enough rounds through the last gun that I bought before I buy this gun? Because if I'm buying stuff just to buy stuff, that's great, except for when it's go time and I have to grab a gun that I've only put two mags through, like that doesn't do you any good. Ask yourself and be honest. Be honest with yourself and say, 
Have I honestly put a thousand rounds through the last gun I bought? And if not, maybe I should buy ammo instead of another gun. Then the last thing you need to ask yourself is before you buy that new firearm, do I already have a firearm that could serve this purpose that I could use the money that I'm about to spend to enhance the one I already have. Now, when I say enhance, I'm not talking about Gucci and out the Glock, right? That's not what I mean. Although you could, my EDCs and stuff, I leave them stock. What I'm specifically referring to is, could you upgrade the sights? Could you buy a better holster? Did you buy the $8.99 Walmart holster? Did you buy the, the cheap Kydex holster that you saw in a Google ad because it was only $29.99, could you now step up and buy a Hilliker Hosted, right? Which if you go to hillikerholsters.com, you can use code SMARTSHOOTERS, get 10% off. I don't get paid to say that. That's just my guy, Andrew, shout out to him. But could I upgrade my holster, right? That's probably a good idea. Should I get a, a, a mag holster? Should I start carrying an extra mag with me? Could I buy more magazines, right? Uh, magazines get worn over time. Uh, when you go to the range, it can make things a whole lot more convenient. My Glock 19, I got like 12 magazines. I load them before I go. I could shoot running different drills almost an hour straight without ever having to reload at the range because reloading at the range is the worst a take up of time ever. And I know there are gun ranges out there that they make you reload there. They don't let you bring loaded mags in, which I think is stupid, but I guess I get their business side of it too, whatever. If that's not your situation, and most of us in West Michigan is not, nobody checks our range bags to see if our mags are loaded. Maybe I could buy, in fact, you could buy, let's just say you wanted to get a Glock 19 for $550. For the same $550, you could take your previous generation Glock 19, you could buy three more mags, you could upgrade the sights because plastic sights suck, um, especially on Glock. You could get a better holster, holster, mags, sights, and you probably still only spent almost half of what you would have spent buying a new Glock just because you got a Gen 4 and you want a Gen 5. So really be honest with yourself. Do you have a gun that already serves the purpose of the gun that you're about to buy and things that you can upgrade with the same amount of money you're about to spend on a new firearm? Guys, listen, if this content helped you out in any way, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. Send this to your friends because I know you know somebody out there who's buying every gun that's coming out and they're not even taking them to the range. They're posting pics for IG. Um, they might even be doing gun reviews on YouTube, but very rarely are they taking those guns out, right? Um, I felt convicted by my own video content because I'm not pushing training videos as much as I'm pushing the other videos. So... I got y'all, listen, since we're talking about training, we now have a membership subscription for YouTube, okay? If you want to take training classes, if you're somebody who says, hey, I'm either in the beginning stages of my firearm journey, or I'm kind of intermediate, but it doesn't hurt to get refreshers, listen, $4.99 a month is all we're charging for exclusive content, me and my team on the range, giving you real drills you can run, giving you practical exercises, firearm fundamentals, not just the ABC 123 of guns, but it does include the ABC 123 because some people started on YouTube instead of starting with the ABC 123s. I want to be that instructor for you. All I'm charging is $4.99 a month. If you go to any video on our YouTube page, or go to our channel homepage. There's a button that says join. You just click online classes. You join every week. I'm dropping new exclusive content just for the channel. I'm going to address the people who shoot low left. I'm going to adjust the people or address the people who can't find a comfortable position 
to carry a firearm in for us big guys who carry a little more um all of that type stuff man so consider joining february 1st is when we go live with the videos we do have a subscription level for aspiring instructors as well i won't really promote that in this video but you can check it out i'll link a video at the end of this where i talked about the two different levels and what i'm trying to offer all right i know that there's people out there who are saying listen i need to get the basics i just want to train with somebody who's not gonna judge me somebody who's not gonna shame me for being new somebody who because you might be the person i'm talking about as always thank you all for watching man i hope you liked it i hope i brought value to you i hope i brought enough value for you to subscribe to the channel i'm trying to elevate my game with smart shooters but listening to this on spotify um, all the links of everything I mentioned will be in the description of the podcast. If you're on YouTube, all the links and stuff is going to be down below. Catch y'all next video. Peace.